Hi, it's your Grumman Tube. Today on Colorado the Angler, we're at a new location and we're going to try out boat fishing for the first time. Looking forward to that. Now, in the previous video, I was saying about this spot and how I hooked something. I don't know what it was. It was like a freight train. Snapped me, took all my line. Never to be seen again. So there's something big at this area and uh, we'll go to the location in a minute. Now, I've got some new lures. This trusty spinner bait though is just gold man you don't need much else just this spinner bait brings in the big boys as you can see you've got a lot of new lures probably try those out but uh with how good this spinner bait is and you get this from when you start the game it's just so good so let's see what is lurking at the bottom of this place hoping we find something really nice Now I've been travelling to lots of different locations and now I've got a bit of gear. We can catch some good fish, get some good money and then get even better gear. So, can't wait. I'm trying to discover different fish locations for different species. Just trying, just driving around, jumping out, have a few casts, see what's going off. Little tip for you, if you're a lure fisherman in real life, what you have to do is, um, you either spot and stalk fish and then go for them or you do a, a technique called fan casting so you start say from one side cast say like 180 degrees left then move a few degrees more left and keep doing that like a clock all the way around so you cover all the area that's a good technique hey oh what we got i've yet to get something that tests this rod and reel so we've got really good heavy gear on so uh, some of the stronger smaller fish we're just going to reel straight in that's a nice start gold golden trout it looks so detailed i do love the colors on them the marking look on the tail i don't know how rare they are i think in real life they're actually quite rare i'm not sure let me know in the comments if uh, you fish anywhere where there's golden trout in real life that's a great start what we're going to do is, I just want to see if I can hook this monster I hooked before. Then we'll try, catch a few fish from here, then we'll dive in the boat and explore some more. Now this is the only place I've fished at this location, just off this bridge. But you can see loads of fish. That's a good thing. When you've got the lighter water, you've got the height advantage. You can see actually all the fish swimming around. Um, some areas with mountains and the shadow off the mountains, it covers it so it's dark. So you can't really see them as much. So you've got to sort of like just check the water yourself but when you can visually see them it does really help i can already see lots of uh, fishing guides coming out for locations and spots but it's going to take quite a while to search all the map see where the best hot spots are and this is definitely a nice spot there seems to be a lot of decent sized fish here hey, oh. kokani salmon is that how you say it let me know how you pronounce that I have no idea. But I know it's a salmon. <laughs> See, that's why I might have hooked. I might have hooked a big salmon on the light gear. And maybe that's why I had no chance of reeling it in. So, it'd be interesting to see how big those go. They could just be a smaller variant. I don't think they're like king salmon size. Which, I know they go massive. But, uh, this is where we are at the minute. This location. So, if you want to come, once you've unlocked it, come here lot of fish in this area let's have a look at this side i haven't tried this side and i can already see quite a lot swimming around so that looks like a good fish what's that just bring the lure as you can see i've got low reel speed it does help in real life you would do stages uh, depending on what lure you're really using uh, of, of like stop start fast sometimes then slow fast slow you're just basically trying to get the fish if it's not hungry to attack it and just eat it anyway or just get it if it's hungry like that <laughs> come on in you come when you see that tension go all the way around you know i'm gonna hook some good because uh, we're on quite a powerful rod and i can't wait for that moment 
I know there's something in here that can do that as well. That's the thing. So there we go. Nice rainbow trout. Three and a half kilo. So that would be actually, in, in real life, that would be a good sized rainbow trout. Most like food rainbow trout fish. A couple of pounds, you know what I mean? And that's at seven. So that's a good sized catch for rainbow trout. They do grow really big at some places. Right, what can we get next? I keep going back to the uh, where you start because at the jet I've got a pike. I seen it come up yesterday to the surface. I looked at it and thought, I'm having you soon. I went back there for about an hour early and I, and I couldn't get it. So I was hoping we could get it on uh, footage, some uh, film of it, but uh, nope. Didn't want to play. If you want to know anything, see anything, drop it in the comments and I'll try and answer it or make footage of what you want to see. But as you can see, this location is just gold. Literally gold. <laughs> so much money. XP. Good area. And that's where the default spinner bait. So, another rainbow trout. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to jump in a boat and see if we can find something bigger. I know there is some monsters lurking in this location, but where, I don't know. So, let's see how the boat helps us out. Let's not just fall in the water. So, let's look around and see if we can spot anything. Now, instantly, what I've noticed is because you haven't got a height advantage, it's not as easy to see the fish so what you have to do is drive around unless you see like swirls or fish jumping um, like you would do naturally try and look for some kind of uh, pointer to where they may be I'm just gonna drop my lure in so I want to show you some it now this is what I do naturally just to see how deep it is and where I'm fishing but as you can see on the bottom right Look as my lure sinks in yellow, but below that is the actual depth. So you already know how deep it is. Now the reason that's important is, in real life, I don't know if it's the same in this game, fish sit at certain levels. So some fish will be at the bottom, some will be like middle, and some will be like top. It depends on the time of day, um, what species they are. I like to sit on the bottom, for example, in certain areas, and then just ambush. Um, it just really depends on the species. But it's quite deep at this area. Let's see what we can get here. I want to catch something I haven't caught before. That would be nice. The last location was at is a really good place as well. So I'm trying to find the good spots and show you where they are. So when you jump in, you can just go and get some nice fish. Here we go. What's this? What have we got this time? I'm not putting up too much of a fight, so it's not really big. Did <laughs> you flung it in the boat? It's a small uh, one of those salmons. It's all money though, and XP. At least you know in this location and with the spinner bait, you can have a good time. That's the key to this. I'm trying to show you. We can get fun straight away into the action. Took me a few hours to do so though, I'm not gonna lie. And now we're starting to catch quite a few fish. That's the thing though, you gotta learn, so trying to help you out for when you start playing. Call a wild the angler. But I'm having a lot of fun. And the boats obviously work. You're gonna get to areas where you can't fish off land or can't cast to. You can catch fish off the shore, or you can catch them in the boats. I'm sure there'll be little hot spots with the boats as well you can get to. So hopefully we find some of those while we're just experimenting and seeing what's in the area. I'll probably try some different lures in a minute. But the spinner bait is so good that, do you know what I mean, why, why put that on at a minute? I know you want to see it, but it's, it's just catching the fish, so that, that's why it's on at the minute. I'm hoping I can just get one of those monsters I hooked earlier. Right. Time to move, I think. I can't see much else. I just 
Just want to see a monster rise from the depths and come up and then just whack the spinner out. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's move up. We have a drive round. If we see any uh, fish like these, that looks a good fish. What's that? I think that's a big salmon. Right. The one on the left is definitely a bit bigger than that one. So let's try and get in. You can do longer casts by just flicking it forward and just releasing on left. Or you can do like a right click short underarm cast. Um, just in case they're really close, do you know what I mean? But what I'm trying to do is cast over them and then draw it back in front of their nose. And uh, see if they want to see what's on the dinner plate. I've also noticed that when they're like this, the fish, if you see them go down and, you, and your lures come in, that means they're going to go bite it normally. Um, so if you see them on top and you see them start going down in like a diagonal fashion towards where your lure is, you've probably got that fish going to take it. Just a little tip there. So can we get one of the decent ones? I'm hoping we can get a big diamond or something nice. I wonder if there's rare fish in this. That'd be interesting. Come on. Give me a big salmon. I want to see if it tests my new rod and reel. It's gone down. Is he going to take it? Anyone that lure fishes and you see that that real big fish you're after you put the lure right next to it and then a smaller fish takes it it's nothing more infuriating but that's often how it is especially if you're in a shoal um you sort of have like a leader and then you have like the minions and often you have the minions take it that's quite good it's a gold it's not small when you get quite a bit of uh XP and cash for it. So there we go. That's our biggest salmon up to yet. So these must be a smaller species of salmon because that's only nearly two kilo. And I know like the real big like king salmons and stuff like that. They got like 60, 70 pounds. So um, yeah, it must be like a subspecies or something. Right, come on. Where are you, monster? I'm looking for him. Can see more salmon. I think it's time to jump with the boat and explore a bit more. See what we can find. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Maybe if we go out in the deep open water, we might find some big fish. Lurking in the depths of Ron's new lake. Wish me luck. Now these boys, bobbins. There's like a mission to like collect these and what I find. So let's see if there's anything here. Yep, got to report it. So the warden wants you to report certain things you find around the reserve, the map, and you get XP and sort of coins for doing it. Now the reason I've stopped at this location is because normally at these kind of boys you do get a lot of fish just surround them. I don't know why, but it does happen in real life. So I thought I'd check it out, see if we can see anything, throw a few lures, a few casts, and then we'll move on again. That's what I'm doing, looking for any kind of signal that there's a fish in the area or anything decent. A few casts, if I don't get nothing, moving on, exploring. Just as I would lure fishing in real life. Once you've fished enough, you, you get this kind of sense, fisherman's sense of where to fish, where not to fish, where there'll be fish, and you learn your craft. Uh, you understand the river, the pond, the lake where you fish at, and you know where it'll be. They could do with a low mass sensitivity adjuster, because a lot of people do play with quite low sense. Um, 400 to 800 is the standard sensitivity on most mice most people play games on and uh, when you slow sense 
it makes it quite hard to cast. So every now and again you're going to see that, so don't worry about it. Blame me. <laughs> We've got some it though, what we up? Hopefully it's a monster. Nah, it's hardly going round on the uh, sensitivity, the tension. What is it? Is it another salmon? Yeah, another baby salmon. But you can see why the boats are so useful. You can get to areas you wouldn't normally get to, and I'm catching a lot of fish because the boats are here. So, thanks for adding them. It does add another dimension to fishing. Like I say, some people will fish from shore. Some people will fish in boats. Remember boats, you can hunt in multiplayer as well, so you can get up to four people in the seats. So very handy indeed. So the good old spinner bait is doing the job, getting me the fish, getting me the gold. But I do want to try some of the other lures in this video. So we will pop on something else and see if we can get something. This looks quite a decent fish. Is that a golden trout or is it another salmon? I think it's a salmon. Normally tell the salmon because they have like a hump. That should be straight in line with it. You'll notice with bigger fish, they are a bit sneakier. Um, they'll mess about. I had one last night. He says that as he gets one. Uh, <laughs> I had one last night and I think it would have been a diamond. A uh, golden trout on a lake. But sadly, I crashed with a hook. Hit. And uh, I wasn't happy really. But, <laughs> but it, it did look big. But it took about an hour to bait in this fish before it took. So another gold salmon. That's good. Lots of XP. What's that one there? I think it's probably another gold. We'll have a go for it. But yeah, the real bigger fish seem a bit trickier. So, can we just get it by his nose? I wish you could move around on the boat. Because you want to, if you was lure fishing for real, you'd move like slightly and pull your rod different ways. Just to like align it with whatever your target or wherever you want the lure to flow. Do you know what I mean? Come on, good old spinner bait. Get me something I ain't caught before. It might be interesting to just leave it near the bottom. We know it's quite deep here, look, 20 meters. It'll be interesting to see what bait fishing is like in these deep holes. We'll probably get catfish on the bottom, on the deeper lakes and areas, other species. So we'll have to experiment with that later down the road. But uh, I'm gonna stick with a trusty old spinner bait for now. It's doing the goods. I will try a new lure in a minute, just to see if we can get anything on it. Top water lure might be good actually, because there's quite a few on the top. So I'm hoping we get something nice. But yeah, whatever I hooked yesterday, it went like a train, and I was like, drag, 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 <laughs> loosen the drag. And it didn't matter, it didn't matter, even on the loose, it, it was gone. You know what I mean? I had to put it like all the way down. What's that? Here we go. We've got summer. It's not big. But what is it? Here we go. Mountain whitefish. That looks kind of like what we get in Europe, like a chub. If you fish for those for real life, let me know in the comments what they're like. How big did they get? Are they nice to eat? So I've got quite a nice fish in front of me now. Come on. It's just mocking me this one is. This is one I want and I'm just going to keep getting little fish and not that one. I can tell. It's frustrating when you see it. But it does happen in real life, like I say, if you get a shoulder fish, often the big one, we'll just let the little ones, just have a little nibble and see if it's safe. <laughs> and if he thinks it's safe, he'll wait and then he'll have his go. Or it's a total opposite and whatever comes by, bang. So you just, it just depends on the day really. 
But uh, he is taunting me right in front of me. I've got fish jumping. You do get ambient animal noise as well. I heard some mallards a minute ago. Don't know if you heard them. Let me know in the comments. I think I've heard elk as well as I've travelled around the map, but I've not actually seen animals. So I think it's just ambient noises. I don't know. But a lot of people was asking about that. Would there be animals, do you know what I mean, from like the hunting, walking around the map? Even if it's ambient. So, it looks like this fish is not bothered. He's having a day off. Come on. It's not a monster, you can see that. When you see the real monster fish, you just know. And uh, hopefully we'll get one of those in the video. Alright, what's that? Now he's gone down. Maybe that is him. As I said before, when they go down, you can tell. Yeah, I bet that was him. When you see him go down diagonally, they're going to investigate the bait. And interested. Well, there we go. Nice uh, screenshot for that. Maybe the thumbnail, if we don't get a bigger one. Hopefully we do. But nice. Coconee? Is it cockney? Salmon? I don't know. I'll have to work on that. Read, <laughs> read on it. Check out how it's said. But if you know, just drop it in the comments. All info is welcome. But the money is stacking up now. That's what I want to see. Right, come on. There's got to be something better out here. Finding quite a few golds. But I want a monster. An absolute monster. Time to move to a new location. Let's move up the uh, water a bit. That's quite a nice fish. <laughs> One nearly jumped in my boat. Should we try and get him? I think it looks like the same sort of size fish. That's going to come straight in front of its nose. Come on. It's nice when you get your cast just right and you almost know that it's going to take it. Come on. And then it swims away. <laughs> that is fishing. That is fishing. He might, he might turn around, we'll see. We're swimming the other way. This is normally where a small tiny fish picks it up. What's your favourite thing you've seen in Call of Wild? The angler, drop it in the comments. Is it something you don't like? Like I say, any opinions, things you think you could do better, drop it in the comments. Any feedback, I'll push on up the chain. I think there's a good core game here and um, with long term support I can see this being a really good fishing game. As long as it's a good core game and I said this with Way the Hunter, as long as it's a good core game at the launch little things can be worked on, tweaked and made better and you end up with a brilliant game. I swear I just heard some ducks again. This guy, come on. Take the bait. <laughs> it, it wasn't you, but we'll have you anyway. I'm wondering if the certain size of fish sit in certain areas. That's interesting. Wouldn't be surprised. So golden trap. Do the bigger fish live? in certain areas, certain locations. That's what you gotta find out. It's an open world fishing game. And that's what'll make it exciting. Exploring, finding those hot spots. Come on. <laughs> He's not bothered. He really isn't bothered about this lure. Come on. He just changes direction every time. I'm just trying to draw it right by his face. Ooh, turn. Is he going to have it? Come on. 
Come on. Come on. That's looking good. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Can't get any closer than that. Come on. He is messing me about. <laughs> I thought he was going to take it then. I really did. Couldn't go any closer to him. He still might take it. We'll see. Watch a little purchase. I'm going to take it now. Can't wait to try multiplayer out as well. I think it's 12 man multiplayer. That'll be interesting. Get some friends on. Imagine this lake, 12 of you on there. Someone's going to get something nice. Have a laugh with your mates, for your beers, whatever you like. Could be great fun. Can't wait to try that out. I think I'll do that, actually, when the game launches. Just do some random multiplayer lobbies. What we got now? Come on. Where's that monster? I want something to test this rod. An absolute specimen. Another golden trap, and it's gold as well. I hope the uh, taste as good as the look, because they are very nice. The tail markings, especially, sort of reminds me a little of a brown trout on the back, the wild one. So I leveled up again. Come on, there's got to be some monsters about. Should we try a different lure? What should we try? Let's try that. They're on the surface, a lot of them, so it may work. It may not. Give it a give it a little go. And spinning bait's that good though that you just tend to stick with it. It doesn't cost you any money either because you get it by default, do you know what I mean? Drive somewhere else, see if we can find something better. What's that? I can see something sticking out of the water on my right. And I think we've just found it. Look at the state of that. Right. I think we've found what we've been looking for. Yep, look at that. I think that's the biggest thing we've seen up to yet. It looks like a big trap. I wouldn't normally use one of these lures for trap, but he's a big old fella and he might just want a meal, so <laughs> we might as well give it a go. Now, poppers you tend to use on top. They do like a popping noise as they swim and they create like a bow wave and some fish love them. Uh, depends on the conditions really. Turn, come on. I don't know if he's... Come on. Come on. You're just what we're looking for for this video. Turn. I don't think he's bothered to be honest. Oh, I don't know. He's thinking about it. Come on. Is he going to take it? No. He's turned away. You little rat. Come on. Take the law. No, he's, he's not bothered. Not with that one anyway. I might just put the spinner bait back on. He's so good that, like I say, big whale sitting there just waiting. He's waiting for my spinnerbait going in. That's what he's waiting for. <laughs> right. He's definitely not going to take that, I don't think. He's just wallowing around on the surface. What I think I might do is swap over to the spinnerbait. Do a little underarm cast near him and see if he'll take it. Right. Trusty spinnerbait. Can we get him? We'll try long cast first, then we'll try under cast, under on cast, right on him. There's another quite nice one here now, and I'm alright. This might be a good location. Come on, for the star of the show. There's a nice fish on my right as well, it's not as big though. The fish I had yesterday was as big as that. Maybe bigger, I don't know, but it was big. But that is the best thing we've seen today, biggest wise anyway. 
Oh my. This is what I mean. I thought it was him then. I thought he was going to take it. And it's a smaller cockney salmon. That's not what I'm after. But we've got him out of the way now. I was trying to do an underarm cast. That's what we wanted. Just a small little flick. He's turned. He's going down. Come on. Come on. He got it. <laughs> I hope it's him. It is him. I can tell. Look at the tension. It's going around a lot more than the other fish. That is him. Right. <laughs> right. Come on. Don't come off. So we've spent, what, 30 minutes looking for a nice fish and we finally found a really good one. But it's been fun, we've had quite a few different catches, different species, location's good, boat works really well as well. Just hoping we can get this one in. I've upped the drag as well now, so you know it's not, it's not no small thing. Had to up it to gain line, but he's coming in. What is it going to be? I think it's a big rainbow, but is it going to be a gold or a diamond? We've got him. We've got him. Come on. Look at the size of that. <laughs> That's a gold as well. Come on. I've had a gold rainbow trout earlier, and it was nowhere near that big. That's a monster. I'm happy with that. Look at the tail on it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So there you go. Finally, we get something decent. That's a really nice rainbow trout. Big whopper. Happy with that. Spinner bait, as I said, done its job. Always good. So when you start out, don't worry about that spinner bait. It's really, really good. So we've had a lot of fun hunting today with the lures. Spinnerbait's done its job. Got a massive rainbow trap. Very happy. So I'm on the tube. We've been playing Call of the Wild, the angler today. Got a massive rainbow trap to end on. Very happy about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.